Uh, good afternoon. I'm very pleased to welcome uh, Mr. Jody Vasi from KPMG to tell us more about the AI regulations and parameters uh, in the Middle East versus the world. Tell us more, please. So, um, yeah, thanks for the opportunity. So when it comes to AI regulations, as you know, the EU AI Act mm -hmm. is the one that is... Uh, it was announced last year. was announced last year as in an effect. And, yes. and, and if you think about it, that's one of the sort of the first ones that has been announced. The first in the world. Potentially, you would see uh, in all countries mm -hmm. the e regulations mm -hmm. coming in. Um, as you can see, the AI developments are moving you know, fairly at a fast pace. Uh, there will be regulations for sure. Yeah. I mean, when and how, what form it will take yeah. is difficult to yeah. assess at yeah. this time. Uh, UAE, as you know, also by His Excellency uh, Omar al alama basically, they put some parameters, the 12 parameters, the 12 uh, principles, uh, pr principles yes. uh, that will turn into parameters, hopefully. Mm -hmm. How will your uh, report be helping, basically, uh, setting those parameters in future? Yeah. So the, the the twelve principles. So UAE, as you know, you know, is is at the cutting edge of AI. It is one of the leading, you know, countries. The first country in the world to have a state minister of AI. Yes, of course. That you know that is is was in 2017. Yes. So in, in today's time, also UAE continues to be at the forefront of using AI. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, just walk through the Dubai yes. airport, all and over. you'll see it's uh, it's there all over the place. So. Um, so the UAE AI Charter, which was released, uh, published in July 2024, um, articulates 12 principles, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, the government believes is essential for adoption of AI within the UAE. Yes. So what KPMG is looking to do is to look at each of these 12 principles mm -hmm. in detail, yes. understand um, what do they mean in practice for an organization mm -hmm. based in UAE mm -hmm. to adopt. Okay. We also give some industry examples yes. uh, so that you know people in different un industries understand it from their industry perspective. Mm -hmm. We also talk about some essential elements such as data enablement, such as testing, monitoring, etc. for them to adopt and make sure that these principles are complied with mm -hmm. whenever they are adopting an AI project or mm -hmm. an application. We also are recommending certain tools mm -hmm. that an organization can use mm -hmm. to make sure that they are complying to these principles. So yeah. it's, a, it's a whole package yeah. for each of these principles so that organizations, depending on their sector, mm -hmm. depending on the function, depending on the use cases, yeah. will be able to be ready whenever the regulation is yeah. coming. Yeah. Uh, one point uh, is that uh, AI is a very fluid uh, sector. It is evolving on a regular basis. How are you planning uh, to relay the developments uh, in terms of AI and, of course, the policies uh, uh, and the guidelines thereafter to the wide audience? Yes, oh, that's a good question. So, I mean, if you think about any field, right, if you take the medical field, if you take the energy field, uh, there's always developments yes. of technologies that yes. happens and the regulations need to keep up with mm -hmm. the yes. developments. Of course, with AI, it's slightly faster. And it's much wider. The medical sector, we talk here about specific highly educated people, but here it's very mass. Correct. It's, it's, uh, it's a bit like electricity. Yes. And it is impacting a broad Correct. base of people. So the, the way to look at this uh, in, in, in terms of AI governance mm -hmm. is to make sure that organizations have a framework mm -hmm. within which there is a continuous monitoring that happens, mm -hmm. right? And and it's a it's an area that is growing. It's an yeah. area that is relatively new. So yes. the the idea of AI governance in terms of a practice itself is fairly yeah. new. Okay. Um, and a lot of organizations, um, what makes sense is to integrate the AI governance mm -hmm. as part of their overall governance, risk, and compliance policies okay. within the organization. Mr. Joe, thank you very much for being with us today. Yes, thank you.